We all have seen cars and the speedometer on the car's dashboard. But how does that instrument measure the speed of the car? Here's what we want out of our speedometer. We have the car's wheels rotating at a certain speed and we want to know, with a simple pointer and dial, what that speed is. So we need to connect the spinning wheels to the pointer cleverly. Even that is tricky, the wheels are racing, but the pointer, some distance away, flicks back and forth. How do we convert continuous, spinning motion into intermittent, flickery, pointer motion? The answer is to use electromagnetism. Our speedometer has a flexible and bendy cable connected to the wheel, a magnet inside a hollow speed cup, a hairspring, a pointer, a dial, and some supports. How does it all work? When the car starts, the wheels start rotating as well and the gear system attached to the wheel also rotates at the same speed as the wheels. The gear system is connected in such a way that it will rotate a bendy and flexible wire with it. As the speedometer cable rotates, it turns the magnet at the same speed. The spinning magnet creates a fluctuating magnetic field inside the speed cup and, by the laws of electromagnetism, that means electric currents flow inside the cup as well. So the currents swim about uselessly in swirling eddies, we call them eddy currents for that very reason. Since they're electric currents, and they're moving in an electrical conductor inside a magnetic field, another law of electromagnetism, Faraday's law of induction says they will create motion. How? The currents make the speed cup rotate in such a way that it tries to catch up with the spinning magnet. But the hairspring stops the cup from rotating very far so it just turns a little bit instead, pulling the pointer up the dial as it does so. The faster the car goes, the faster the cable turns, the quicker the magnet spins, the bigger the eddy currents it generates, the greater the force on the speed cup.